pause and end participation on flexible opportunities. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So what this is, we had an issue with people creating flexible opportunities where it might go on for a year, the flexible opportunity, but someone might start on the opportunity and spend two weeks on it, but then they were no longer attending the opportunity. That's it. They've done their two weeks, but there was no way of differentiating or, or identifying which volunteers had had you know, long gone and kind of finished, um, you know, being a participant on that particular opportunity and which volunteers were still on there and still, you know, still uh, going and attending. Um, so what we've built is a way to um, basically identify which volunteers are still attending the opportunity, those flexible opportunities. So what I'm going to do is find a flexible opportunity. Just to show you. Shared, let's find a flexible one. Is this a flexible one? Nope, this isn't a flexible one. Okay, what I'm going to do is quickly create one then. Create opportunity. I'm going to call it my flexi up. Put in some details here. And some search tags. It's volunteering from home and it's a flexible opportunity. Oh, one thing I should say, actually, going down here, we've also um, tried to simplify this page when you're creating an opportunity. So we've, we've um, hidden uh, a number of the options within this extended options page. This is because we had uh, some feedback saying it was a bit too complex for, for, for some of the providers, especially, um, you know, who didn't have any kind of training on the system for them to understand what all the fields were. And obviously we need to keep access to all those fields because those fields have a reason. And there's, you know, there's at least one customer who uses each of, each of those fields. Um, and we need that kind of flexibility to, to, to make sure it, it kind of ticks all, all the boxes in terms of system, um, customer requirements. But we understand that there's a majority of opportunities which don't require all those additional fields. So what we've done is hidden them um, behind and behind this extended options button. So if I click that, it suddenly makes all the, the additional fields appear. But we're going to keep this opportunity nice and simple, a flexible opportunity. What's the closing date? Well, I want it to stop being visible on the first. And what's the start date? Uh, it's going to start on the second today end date is going to carry on so people can join it right up until the closing date which is on the first again and then click add new opportunity so once this is created we have our flexible opportunity okay then I'm going to go to my sessions and I'm going to add a volunteer onto the session let's find Steve on here somewhere, he says. Steve Powers, I'll do. Stella Powers. So Stella Powers has now been added to this opportunity. So if you imagine Stella Powers joined this opportunity um, and she's been doing it for a few days, but then that's it. She, her stint's finished and she, she won't. Although the opportunity, as we know, goes on for another 29 days, she, she's finished. She's done, she's done her a bit on the opportunity. So what we can do is when we go to the volunteers here, Refresh the page so it picks up the fact that we've added this volunteer to the opportunity. Okay, click on the volunteers tab and we can see Stella's on there. So from here we have this additional button which is like the stop button, which is basically saying to the system, uh, you, what, what you're basically saying is this person is no longer going to be attending this opportunity, even though the opportunity is still continuing, um, still got another 29 days left. So by clicking this button here, the volunteers particip participation has been finished and what you'll see is when you go back into the opportunity in future so if I just refresh the page it puts them into a second category down here volunteers that have left this flexible opportunity and Stella's now been moved into that section there so you can easily see which people are active on the opportunity and which people are essentially kind of been archived against the opportunity they're no longer um, a participant so I think that's a really good, definitely a, a big update and it's definitely going to help a lot of our customers out with that particular option.